Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. My name is Mandy and today I'm sharing with you, I am sharing a huge grocery haul with you. So for me, it is, what is today? I think it's September 6th, but it's the first time in September that I am shopping. So um, this is my first haul for September. I only wanna shop twice this month. Next week, we won't even be here. Um, it is our county fair next week and we have to be there every day for four days. So there's not gonna be any grocery shopping. Um, we're gonna be like in and out of the house. I got some stuff to take with us. There's gonna be some food there. There's gonna be some eating dinners there probably. So yeah, this is kind of just like a big stock up for the beginning of the month. And then at the end of the month, I'll have another haul probably not this big. I will mention that I did go into my local store to get some ground beef because I'm completely out and it was on sale under $3 for a pound of ground beef, 80-20. And when I looked at it, it was so light in color that it looked like 70% ground beef instead of 80. And so much, like I looked at the one pound packages of the 80% and I could tell a difference. I feel like they may have mislabeled it or added a little too much fat. And I'm just not, I'm just not spending my money on fat that's going to, you know, I'm gonna end up mopping up with a paper towel and throwing away. You know what I mean? Like, I'll just get it somewhere else. Um, <laughs> it's fine. I don't even think it's on my meal plan. I did make a two week meal plan. Uh, it might last a little bit longer since we won't be here part of next week. But anyway, I'll share that with you at the end. Um, yeah, so next week there won't be a grocery haul, but there will be a haul. I'm thinking probably my Sam's Club shipping order. I'm going to film that as I get it and share that with you next week. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. All right, I'm going to turn you around and show you Walmart. And then I did a Smith's pickup order, which is my Kroger store, and I will show you that right after this. I spent $304 today, which I thought was gonna be a lot more, but um, not bad. Like, I like to stick to $600 a month. I try to do $300 every two weeks, which, um, you know, works for us. We are a family of three, we live in Arizona, and uh, yeah, I have a 15-year-old daughter, and two children that have grown up and moved out. Yeah, here we go. All right, so <laughs> here is the first counter. Don't mind the blankets over there. We're just relaxing a little bit. So I'm gonna start over here. I actually did, like I said, run into my local store. The ground beef wasn't looking great, but the produce was on sale for 99 cents a pound. That included um, Roma tomatoes, Cosmic Crisp apples, all bell peppers and peaches. Look at the size of this peach. This was labeled like a Utah peach or something. I don't know. It's rock hard. It doesn't smell like anything, but um, I bought quite a few the last time and I ended up throwing two away because they had gotten, they ripened so fast. I can only buy a couple of things. <laughs> I feel like each time I go because they go bad so fast, like even the tomatoes, the peaches, um, bananas are really bad for some reason. I don't know. It's just hopefully the apples, you know, it's apple seed going into apple season. They will last a little bit longer. But anyway, um, yeah, 99 cents a pound for all of those things. I did, and that was it at my local store. I paid with my change. I was in my purse, so I'm not even including that. I did get some garlic. Um, a little three pack of garlic. We've been just enjoying mincing fresh. We kind of go back and forth. I got a quarter of a pound of jalapenos. Uh, looks like five limes, some sliced mushrooms. I'm gonna be making a side dish. I am getting um, zucchini out of my garden. Well, out of the plants that I planted in my backyard. And I like to make a side dish with, I don't even think it has zucchini in it actually. Anyway, it's mushrooms, green beans, broccoli, onions, 
it's delicious. So anyway, I got those hoping to have that. I did get a bunch of cilantro because we eat a ton of it. Um, the Southwest style salad just sounded really good to me. I'm really craving a salad. I got two oranges. This one's a little green. I don't, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully they're tasty. I did think about getting a bag of cuties, but I feel like we're more like inclined to eat like a whole orange than a cutie, I guess. I got one avocado, one English um, cucumber, I almost said bell pepper, two bananas, a head of lettuce, and a bag of broccoli florets. And the last produce item is just a bag of sweet onions. So freezer wise, I got two of these Motor City Company pepperoni pizzas. I ordered a meat lovers. They um, substituted it with another pepperoni, which is fine. Clayton puts like jalapenos on, on half. I put um, bell peppers and onions on the other half and Caitlin likes it with olives. So we kind of just make up our own with this. These are so good. And one night, um, when we come home late or something, we can have pizza for dinner. I also got some ice cream sandwiches. I was going to get the blue bell, but like $8 for 12 ice cream sandwiches. And these are still $2 and some change. So I opted for those. Same with the fudge bars. The, um, the other brand was just too expensive for me. I also got Caitlin these little mozzarella sticks. These are like a dollar twenty-five. It's just a nice like snack or lunch or something. Bag of fine green beans. I quit buying these because they weren't the fine green beans. When you opened it, it they were like big and woody. I'm hoping uh, this is a good bag. I got some peas and carrots and a bag of Brussels sprouts. I did get some more tater tots and just a bag of regular cut french fries. Two of these green chili burritos just for a quick lunch for me when we are on the go. Um, quite a bit of meat. Like I said, I am going to have to go find ground beef somewhere because I have none. But I did get a package of cube steaks. This isn't even on my meal plan actually, but I just wanted to have like some meat stocked up in the freezer. I also got this uh, Milanesia, Milanesia? I don't know. Anyway, this is just like some really thinly sliced um, top round steak. I don't know, I thought we'd use it for something. My friend Veronica over at Unorganized Mama, she is always buying multiple packages of this for her family of 10 and I don't know. She got me. She made me do it. But um, we've been making some steak sandwiches, and I thought that might be really good for that. Uh, they finally had these sausage patties back in stock, so I got a package of these. These are really good. I got this package of chicken. This is chicken breast. Um, this, I'm going to shred all of this up for chicken enchiladas, and I'm hoping to have that two nights next week. I did get a whole chicken just... We roasted one a couple weeks ago and it was delicious. You know, getting into that co little bit cooler weather. It's still in the hundreds here, but um, next week look like, looks like it's gonna cool off a little bit more. I got two bags of these, um, like never any boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I like them, they're individually packaged and they're, they're better quality. I also got this package of egg roll wrappers. Um, I'm just really wanting <laughs> some egg rolls. I got these cheese dip and breadsticks just to throw in Clayton's lunch. Oh, one more meat. Did I say ham? I did get these ham steaks for um, quick breakfast. Um, Clayton has discovered chamoy and what is it called? Tahine on candy. <laughs> We did some hunting last week and we stopped at a gas station and got some um, candy that or, that had a packet of like the chamoy is like a um, Mexican like sauce made out of dried fruit. And I'm sure you know what tahine is. It's like a Mexican seasoning. But anyway, he just loved it. So I got, we actually purchased a bottle of chamoy and a bottle of tahine last weekend and uh yeah I got him some candy to put it on so he liked these peach rings 
These are actually my favorite, but of course you can have some too. And some gummy worms, so he'll be set for that. I got some flour tortillas for the chicken enchiladas, seeded brioche hamburger buns, in case we want to have hamburgers, even though we don't have any ground beef. Um, I did get a small package of turkey breast lunch meat in case we want to make some sandwiches. Applesauce, I'm really the only one that eats that. I, I really enjoy it cold out of the fridge. Um, I did get a loaf of white bread this time. Oh my gosh, so much stuff. Okay, I also got another package of these Wahio chili peppers. We make a red sauce for enchiladas in like chili con carne, um, all kinds of stuff where we wanna try those, um, what are they called? Those tacos that you like dip in the red sauce. Mm, it's not coming to me, but anyway, um, really easy to make your own red sauce at home and it's delicious. Uh, the body armor is for fair. I got two containers of almond milk. I don't know why, just stocking up for the month, I guess. I did get some more of this lemonade. I like to drink this. I actually mixed the um, two liter like container, you know, the pitcher with the lemonade and then I add water to it because it is pretty sweet. Another thing of pizza sauce because we opened the one that was in the pantry. I got this cayenne pepper because our little dog it keeps digging a hole in the backyard. I think she's trying to get under the wall for a while. She was getting in my garden bed trying to look over the wall. Well, she realized she can't, so now she's trying to dig under. I keep filling it in and like scolding her, but she keeps doing it. So I'm going to spread some cayenne pepper around and see if that uh, keeps her from digging. Uh, I also got this ground turmeric. I was watching someone else and they were using turmeric um, because of all the health benefits and I know how good it is for like your joints and stuff. But then I found turmeric capsules in my bathroom and I've been taking those instead. But hey, you know, I didn't have any, so that's okay. Canned food. I got some olives, mushrooms. I think I got five cans of the raviolis. One of the lasagna, they were all on sale for 99 cents and a four pack of raviolis was like, oh, sorry, I don't should see the trash over there. The four pack of raviolis was over $4. So I just bought them individually. I got two cans of chili and green chili enchilada sauce. That's what we're gonna try making next with uh, like tomatillos. We did make a salsa, but we wanna make a sauce with green chilies. Actually, I'm not really sure this has tomatillos in it, and I'm sure you guys aren't really interested, but yeah, it's just green chili peppers and jalapenos and stuff. So that's next on our list when we have time. We're actually busy this weekend and next weekend, so probably not for a while. I got quite a few creamers. Um, it's, it's getting cooler in the morning. It's probably you know, high 60s, low 70s when we get up and I've been drinking hot coffee and I thought I want some hazelnut creamer in my hot coffee. I also got two more blueberry creamers because they're not gonna have these anymore. It's just a summertime thing and I still do drink a cup of iced coffee in the afternoon and it's either blueberry or pumpkin spice. So I got two more of those before they're gone. I got some cottage cheese. I want to make some overnight oats and I want to mix some um, blended cottage cheese into it for extra protein. Let's finish with the food here. I just got two of these mac and cheese cups um, like for Caitlin, quick lunch or snack or something. And of course down there is all the bags. <laughs> I did get these antibacterial wipes. Again, we're gonna be at fair and I want something, you know, we can just wipe our hands with if we can't wash them. I did get a little um, wax melt. This is spiced pumpkin pie and it smells delicious. Very like pumpkin and cinnamon. So if you're into that kind of thing, this one smells really good. I'm gonna put that in as soon as I'm done. I got these little cups. These are perfect for Clayton when he takes a salad or something um, with his lunch. They come with little lids. They're like little, um, 
what do they call them? Like condiment cups, I guess. Anyway, he puts ranch and stuff in them for his lunch. I needed some lens wipes for my glasses. Um, this actually should be in my fall stuff because I've been kind of uh, gathering it up so I could show you guys what I bought this year for fall, but, um, I did get these soaps. They were on sale for a dollar. I got this pumpkin scent. I wasn't sure if I would like it. Actually, I wasn't sure if anybody else would like it. <laughs> so I just got one. The other two are, uh, I think it's just apple, red apple. So those will be for, um, Clayton and Caitlin's sink. Yeah, that smells like pumpkin spice. It actually smells really good. So, and I'll put this one at my sink. Uh, we were out of hand soap, like all together. So I needed to get another refill. This was on, on sale for like $2.97. So I grabbed this one. I don't even know what scent it is. Light, fresh scent. Okay. Light moisturizing. Interesting. Okay. So I got that. And these two things are for my laundry. I mix them together and put them in a glass container and I just um, add a little bit to any laundry that needs like a little extra boost of anything. So, oh my gosh, 13 minutes for Walmart. <laughs> Let me go ahead and put Smith's up now. All right, this is my Smith's store um, Kroger store, whatever. Anyway, I was just looking, trying to see my receipt because I said this was $61 and I was kind of like, how? <laughs> but their web, their app isn't working right now. And even I don't have a receipt in my email yet either. So I'll figure it out. I'll put the for sure price here on the screen, but we'll just get into it. These big three pound containers of grapes were $3.99. Um, it is grape season or maybe just the end of it. I'm not really sure, but I have yet to find like some big, crisp, sweet grapes. I don't buy a lot of fruit because I'm always so unhappy with the quality, but I hope you guys are finding some good grapes. I love grapes and they're always such a disappointment. These aren't too soft, but still a disappointment. <laughs> um... Half gallons of milk were $1.29 today. I just bought one because we are not drinking a full gallon. And I know because we'll be um, in and out of the house next week, we probably won't drink more than half a gallon. Sorry, I have like the hiccups. Um, I got a six pack of Cherry Coke Zero. That's just for me. I got two Dawn Power Wash. These were on sale for $3.99, and I think I had a coupon that made them like buy one, get one free. So I got two of these, this lemon scent. I think there was an Ibotta as well. I'll have to check. Three Kool-Aid Jammers. I was going to get Capri Suns. Um, we obviously were, not obviously, but we are at the fair with a group, um, actually two 4-H groups we are kind of a part of. So... I just want to bring a lot of um, extra stuff like to share with people. So we got three Kool-Aid jammers. They were on sale for $1.99, much cheaper than Capri Sun. I also got a package of water. I didn't take it out of the truck because it's not staying. Um, donut shop, coffee. We've been going through a lot of coffee lately. I need to order some from Sam's Club because yikes, it's getting expensive. 12 packs of Cheez-Its were on sale for $3.99, normally like $8. Isn't that crazy? So Caitlin said she would enjoy some little packs of Cheez-Its next week to take with us. I had a coupon for a free package of Doritos. I chose the spicy nacho. And the cookies, Chips Ahoy, and Oreos were on sale for $1.99. So I got one package of those. I did make a whole bunch of homemade chocolate chip cookie dough and froze it in like individual little balls so I could make chocolate chip cookies anytime we wanted some but it's nice to have like a different type of cookie in the in the in the house I also want to make some other types of cookie dough to have in the freezer ready to go for this um like fall season when people come over or whatever so that's it's on the list of things to do I also got 
two check roasts. These were on sale for $3.97, so this isn't the correct price, but I did get two in this package, so that's nice. So, all right, and that is it. All right, so if that was $61, um, like I said, I spent $304 today. If not, I'll put the correct amount on the screen. I'm happy with it. I am still gonna go and get um, ground beef. I will add that on to like how much I've spent for the month, but obviously it won't be in this haul. And I'm hoping the end of the month grocery haul can be like smaller than this. Um, yeah, I'm kind of enjoying like using what we have before we buy a bunch of more stuff. So I've stocked back up. Now we can use what we have and then go grocery shopping again later in the month for whatever we need. I think we are good though. So you guys, it's been so crazy around here. I'm so looking forward to fair being over and just getting to stay home <laughs> and relax uh, during this like fall season, heading into the holidays. I'm so looking forward to it. So I'm decorating for fall a little late. Um, I had hoped to do it like September 1st and it just didn't happen. So I am hoping to sh share with you my fall decor um, in some way in some video coming up soon, but it's gonna be just a little while. Um, I am gonna share my meal plan right now with anybody that wants to hear it. And if you are done, have a great day and uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up for everybody else. Let's go over the meal plan. All right, so it took forever for me to find my notebook. Um, I'm in our office slash, slash uh, exercise room, I guess. I've got the elliptical over there. Got some Sam's Club shipping <laughs> boxes over there I need to share with you guys. So that'll be the next video, like I said. But anyway, we have like four um, pork coins in the freezer, possibly more, maybe five. So it's going to be like heavy pork probably for the whole month. But um, I got those egg roll wrappers. I want to make egg rolls. So pork egg rolls sounds delicious. I do need to get bean sprouts when I make those. Um, I guess you don't have to have them, but I really like the crunch in them. But anyway, um, pork fried rice, sweet and sour pork, just a pork roast with like gravy and roasted potatoes. I like to do like really thin pork chops breaded with like breadcrumbs and just shallow fried in a skillet. Um, I put stewed Mexican beef on here, but last night we had, um, we used pork. <laughs> we did the same thing. So we probably won't have that um, pot roast with the um, chuck roast that we just got. We have some brats that could be a dinner. Sometimes we have hot dogs. I didn't get buns, but um, another quick dinner. Kielbasa potatoes on a sheet pan and then we put some cheese on it. Hamburgers, enchiladas, chicken sandwiches. Sometimes Clayton will fry a chicken breast and um, we'll have crispy chicken sandwiches. Mwah, so good. Uh, I put tri-tip but I didn't see any today so we'll see. Caitlin also added the bot at the bottom curry. She's been wanting that and oh pesto chicken she wrote with cilantro lime rice but i'm gonna put the xna on that because as those two don't go together but we can't have cilantro lime rice with something all right and that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will see you in the next video really soon i hope you have a great day bye guys